Hey Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for September 10th through the 16th. I'm using Amy Zerner's Enchanted Tarot this week, which is a beautiful, gorgeous deck. So, as always, this is going to be a general reading for all areas of your life. I will pick one card for love for this week. And then if you want a more longer, detailed reading on love, check out the Cancer Love Reading for September 2018, which is already posted. So you can check that out after this video. So let's go ahead and see what's coming up in the week ahead for all the Cancer people. So Monday, Tuesday... Monday, Tuesday, there's your Monday, Tuesday, Cancer. Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then a love card. And I'm going to do like a soul homework card at the end too, but I won't shuffle that right now so that I don't take more time. That way you'll only stick around for it if you want to. So here's your Monday, Tuesday, Cancer. You've got Princess of Wands. Now, Cancer, um, this can be an actual person. If you have fire in your birth chart, it could be you. Like, say, for example, you know, in your moon or in your rising sign, you've got fire. Um, it could be you. It could be also meaning that you're just getting in touch with your passions and you're coming more into an energy of, like, wanting to take action in your life and to, like, you know, just, just go for it go for things that may be the case now for some of you this is an actual person coming in so maybe there's something going on in terms of like love life maybe for some of you there's a fire sign coming in or somebody's coming in and they're making you feel like the princess of wands like you're feeling all feisty and, and like sexy or whatever that could be the case as well um this is a general reading so this is going to apply to us in different ways um, but some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign at work. And this could be both positive and it could be negative. You know, Princess of Wands could be very passionate, um, very fun, very funny, um, really dynamic, um, very encouraging, very like action oriented. But they could also be somebody who comes off as like, you know, um, opinionated or maybe even a little bit controlling. It's going to be different ways for different ones of us because we're all in different situations and scenarios. Let's check out Midweek Cancer for Wednesday, Thursday. <clears throat> I don't do reversals. We have the sun. Okay, so maybe this is you connecting with the Princess of Wands qualities. Or maybe the Princess of Wands is coming in and encouraging you. Because the sun is about being seen. This is also major arcana. So this is life purpose, life path. Some of you might be deciding to go in a really big crossroads. Or you're taking some really big steps to step out into the light. To have fun. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm like inhaling the smoke. It really shot up. <laughs> the smoke shot up for you guys, Cancer. There's like something happening in energy for you this week. So some of you are really being seen. You're really being seen. You're coming into that energy. Um, and you're, you're coming into the energy of like stepping out into the light. Success. Victory. Long-term plans. All of that good stuff. So this doesn't mean that you're going to wake up Wednesday morning or Thursday morning. And all of a sudden everything is magical and perfect. And you're on top of the mountain. But you may be making steps. You may be making the, the decision that you're ready for it. And you may be taking steps to, to get there. So going for a promotion, um, asking somebody out, uh, going for a raise, applying for a new job, enrolling in school. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be a lot of different things for a lot of different ones of us. You drink of water there. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You have Prince of Pentacles. So, um, Cancer, this could again be you if you have Earth in your birth chart, in your rising, or in your moon, or in your Venus. Or it could be basically what you've got going on with another person coming in. So maybe some of you are choosing between a fire sign and a earth sign. 
<coughs> Excuse my poor little chip nail polish. I think I'm going to put the cover on that smoke before I choke to death here. I don't know what is happening, Cancer. But it just, that incense, like, exploded when I started doing your reading. So lots of energy. Some big things happening for you guys. Oh, much better. Whew. I don't know what happened, guys. But that smoke really started coming at me when I started reading for Cancer. Oh my God. Okay. So some of you may be choosing between a fire sign and an earth sign. Some of you may have a situation coming up where you're getting really serious about your career goals and about money. Okay? So some of you are, are taking a big step, like I said. You might be applying for a new job, going to school, um, going for a promotion or for a raise, and you begin going in that direction. Prince of Pentacles says... You're going to be successful. You're going to have long-term success. You're going to have long-term financial success. But it's going to happen over time. It's going to take commitment. It's going to take, you know, just the commitment of the time, the continued effort, the continued energy, uh, being very logical, being dependable, showing up day in and day out. <coughs> and then you will be successful. So some of you are doing something really big in your life. Some of you have made the decision to do something really big in your life. And Prince of Pentacles wants you to know it's going to happen. But it's going to take time. It's not going to be overnight. This is, you're in it for the long haul. It could be a relationship too. Because Pentacles, even though it's about money... You have to understand something. Money is a form of energy. So maybe for you, some of you, it's not even necessarily about the money. It could be energy. You're putting energy into something and you've just decided that, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm in it for the long haul with this person. Or somebody's deciding they're in it for the long haul with you. Maybe some of you have someone that you've written off. You're like, I am done with this joker. I am done with this clown. I am not doing this anymore. And they're like, okay, you know what? Fair enough, I've failed you, I know I failed you, but I'm, I'm going to do right by you now. And I'm going to show you that I'm ready, and I'm going to show you that I'm serious. So some of you may have somebody who's really beginning to <coughs> put more effort into being with you, putting more energy into being with you, being more responsible. <coughs> Excuse me. Your love card, Cancer, is seven of hearts. So, for some of you, this really is a relationship where you've written the person off. <clears throat> because seven of hearts is, you're confused. Seven of hearts is, you're not sure where your heart is. Is your heart focusing on your career? Is your heart focusing on finding your true love? Is your heart in the current relationship? Um, and you may have decided that you're done with somebody, right? But they're, they're really kind of coming after you. And so now you're like, man, <laughs> what do I do? Do I give them another chance? Do I go for a new person? Uh, do I just focus on my career? Seven of hearts means you probably have a lot of different options to consider right now. Uh, and the only way to figure that out is to really sit down and connect with your thoughts and your feelings and do all of that stuff we hate doing, <laughs> you know, like going within and figuring out how you want to move forward, figuring out what you want to do and how you want to do it. So it's actually a good problem to have because it means there's a, a few different things that you could choose. There's a few different areas or a few different roads you could go down, but this is about Connecting with your passion, connecting with what you want, um, and figuring out how you want to do it. You know, like what's important to you. Uh, you may be analyzing, you may be weighing your options, you may be doing some research. Um, and you're going to make a decision where you want to go. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Who do you want to be with? What kind of a person do you want to be with? Do you want to be single? Do you want to be committed? Do you want to be married? 
Do you want to just date but not get married? Do you want an open relationship? Like, what is it that you're looking for? What is it that's going to make you happy? Um, you're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> Some of you may be choosing between more than one partner. Some of you may be in a situation where for a long time you were in a dry spell. It was crickets and tumbleweeds. And now all of a sudden everybody wants you. That's a good problem to have too. Um, for some of you, there's a lot going on in your life and you're trying to figure out what you want to do about a current relationship. <coughs> Is, you know, what you can do while you're juggling or trying to balance everything else. Let's see what your soul homework is for the week. And we're going to use the energy oracle to figure that out. You have patience, right? Which makes sense because you're starting off the week full of fire. You're making a decision that you're you're doing something big for your life. You're going in a big important direction. And then you have Knight of Pentacles, which is all about the, you know, over time, the long term process, the, the slow but steady growth, the slow but steady progress, long term progress. So you might not see results as quickly as you want. So this is about having patience and trying to practice patience in different areas of your life. You know, understand that you've really overcome a lot of blocks, a lot of fears. You need to give yourself credit for that. You need to praise yourself for that. <clears throat> But you've got to be balanced and you have to be patient. You know, if you plant a seed and you run out the next day and it, it hasn't turned into a tree, you, you, you it would be illogical to be upset because you know that you're going to plant that seed and you're going to keep watering it and you just have to give time for it to grow. And sometimes it's growing and we don't see it because it's growing underneath the surface and it takes time for that first little sprout to pop up out of the ground. And even once the little sprout is out of the ground, you've got to wait for it to become the tree. It takes time, right? There's nothing that you can do to speed up time. All you can do is do the work. Be conscious of that. So if it's taking time, don't blame yourself. Don't get upset. Don't get discouraged. Just keep doing the work. That's all you can do. Just keep doing the work. Give yourself credit for showing up. Give yourself credit that you keep doing it. And, and practice patience. For some of you, you're trying to manifest something that involves another person, right? And you might be doing the work on yourself so that you're ready for it. But maybe the other person's not ready. Or maybe they're dealing with a death or they're dealing with something really uh, big or something really traumatic and maybe they need time. Maybe, maybe there's, you know, things that they need to get figured out. Maybe there's fears that they need to overcome, blocks that they need to overcome. So be patient. Give it time. You're being asked to work on your patience this week, guys. <clears throat> Again, check out your moon sign, your rising sign. That might have some more layers for you. Check out the pick a card readings. For some of you, that's going to have more information. Um, I've been getting a lot of really positive feedback from the pick a card readings. A lot of people have been telling me that they're really resonating. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe and hit notification. And then when I do a new pick a card reading in a few days, you'll get a notification as soon as that's up. As well as other videos that are going to be going up. Uh, let me know, guys, if you need a private reading, reach out to me. Um, the description uh, lists the different readings and the different prices. Patreon, as low as two bucks a month, you get like a, a monthly card, personal card. You can hop onto the live video chat where I go live and people ask questions and I pull cards for them. Um, tarot classes, all kinds of things. So do keep up with me on there as well if you can. 
um but thank you so much guys for watching comment on the video i'm gonna be picking people from the comments in the videos to pull cards for anyone i'm drawn to um give me a few days there's a lot of videos a lot of comments and if i don't pick you this week please don't get discouraged please don't get sad um maybe the next week i'll pick you um hopefully over time i'll get to everyone if that's possible but just know that i'm trying to get to as many people as i can Thank you for watching, Cancer. Make sure to go to Amethyst Angel at Facebook and Instagram. Like and follow there. I do a free card every single day. I do a free pick a card every single day. And every Monday, I do a free giveaway, a free prize. You can enter to win a prize once a week. So thank you. Thank you for, for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Till next week, my friends.